Hey guys, this is Manifesting Better and I'm back with another video and another topic that needs to be addressed. I also have an Instagram account. I have been posting there a lot. So you can go and check that out. The link is in the description box below. There are a lot of posts there which will help you. I also provide coaching for that too. The link is in the description box below. I will be quoting some examples from the previous video I made about living in the end. If you want to connect to this one better, you should go and check that out. I will post a link for that too in the description box below. Now today's topic logic and what is logic? How to use logic while manifesting? Firstly, I intend that this topic helps you the same way this perspective shift helps you the same way it has helped me because it has added a lot of value in how I manifest and how I view things in my life. No, I will not be considering the usual things on how people, there are a lot of videos on this topic already on how logic doesn't matter while manifesting and how to not be logical, how to ignore all these things. And I will not make a video on that because I know that there are, there is a lot of stuff about it already. I would be making a video on my perspective on it and my different perspective on it and how I personally use the same way to manifest different things in my life. Now, everyone says that logic is not applicable in manifesting, but you can actually use it to your advantage. Now, how to do that? By making manifesting a logic, which it already is. Let me clarify it for you. So, in my whole life, I have seen so many things happen. And I, I can always, and you can always to reverse engineer it to your thought. So you always know that your focus creates. Well, that is a logic now. It is a logical thing for you. Your focus is going to create. Your dominant thoughts create. It is logical. It is a logic now. What you resist persists. It is again a logic. Circumstances don't matter. A very, very logical thing for me. Why do I say that? Because if everything, when everything was going good and everything can go downhill, without the good circumstances being an issue, then why cannot things go up? That's how I look at it. If you're feeling emotions, like feel them, Just let them sit in your body, cut the thoughts out of it, move forward, change your focus. Very logical. Resistance is there, let it be there. You can still get what you want. Change your focus. Do not chase, do not stalk, do not beg. No creator acts that way. Be the version of you are, be the version that I know uh, you can be, the version of yourself that is the one who has what they want. You are the creator and you can choose your experience. Don't try to change the outside, change the inside. Like these things what I'm telling you are guidelines through which I live my life. Guidelines through which I guide my mind and this is what the definition of logic is to me. Living in the end will get me results. My target is to live in the end, which will lead to results. One last thing, one very important thing, don't take no for an answer. Simple as that. Now, these are your guidelines and this is the most logical thing of all. This is the most practical thing of all. Just like you don't doubt gravity. Gravity you take into account. Gravity you use it as logic. If you jump off a building, you will fall. You use that as an example of gravity and you consider it very logical then why not consider this as a logic too? From today, any circumstance, situation, resistance, emotion, anything comes up, you have these guidelines to use. You can just put this video on or you can write these down for yourself. So let me give you an example. Let's say your specific person tells you that they don't love you. Your first reaction is that, oh, she told me she doesn't love me. But then you ask yourself, what does logic tell me? Well, logic tells me that circumstances don't matter. Matter. I am going to go by the logic. You you get the point I'm trying to make. It's just it's just a shift in the mindset. It's just a different habit of looking at things through a different perspective. It's very logical. It's very practical. It's how the world works. It's a law, right? Don't make it into a mystical thing. It isn't. This is how you have always lived your life. This is not something that you need to see proof of to believe. This is something that has already been there. Like you don't need to see proof to believe your doubts. You don't need to see proof of this right now to believe it works. That's why I don't personally react to things because 
it's the most logical thing to me if i react i create more of it do i want more of it no then that's the end of the discussion discipline choices and logic that's all there is to it let's say the techniques let's say you pick the technique any technique you pick affirmations visualizing i used this example in my previous video too so this will be a repetitive example but dr joe dispenza talks about if you wake up from a visual session or an affirmation session or a, he calls them meditations so if you wake up from a meditation being the same person then you have not done it right which means to me that if i have visualized right now if i have closed my eyes and i have visualized that i have received let's say 1 million dollars then when i open my eyes i'm going like no, nothing outside of me no person telling me no experience telling me that it isn't here will make me doubt the fact that i just experienced it for me if i imagined having a date with a specific person in my mind or living in that relationship in my mind i just imagined it i just affirmed for it i just felt those feelings then those feelings are as real to me as anything is i will ever see that's why there is no question of doubt because i just went there it's like you woke up and it's 8 a.m and when the time passes it's 9 a.m now and someone comes and tells you it's 8 a.m again you won't believe them because you just saw 8 a.m happening you just went through it that is the most logical thing of all you just experience it experienced it in your mind and if you just experienced it then what's the point of questioning it if i imagined having a million dollars and i went out and i uh i'm i'm like now i'm meeting my friends in my mind i'm carrying that accomplishment with me because i know i just experienced it there is no point for me to doubt that thing because that is something i just experienced in my mind and what for me reality is what i experience in my head and in my mind and in my body that is how i look at logic i really really intend that this post helps you because this perspective has helped me a lot any comments comes up please any questions please leave them in the comment box below i again will try to answer most of them please pardon me if i cannot yeah see you in the next one